welcome back my peeps so i have i'm not doing a tutorial today since we have a little bit of time in between the next holiday i just thought that i would um just make a video about um air dry clay i get a lot of questions about air dry clay so i'm going to um Tell you what I think of it, what's my favorite, and why. And, um, oh, sorry about that. And, um, what to do if you come across some issues with it and things like that. So, these are the basic clays that I use. Well, I've tried, I don't necessarily use all of these. And they have, they, all right, let me start again. They have different uses. Each one has different use. Y'all know I use Model Magic a lot. And I'm not going to lie, it's my favorite. And I'll tell you why. Model Magic, it comes in these little packets you can find for about a dollar. You can find these in like Dollar Tree, um, Family Dollar, and other places like that. And then it also comes in like a big bag like this. This is like, I don't know, it comes in a, in, a, in a container and it comes with two pounds worth of Model Magic and it's white. And you could um, add color to Model Magic like with acrylic paint or whatever. I like buying it in bulk like this. And sometimes um, I'll get it like this because it comes in, these li this little size comes in little like packets of red, green, yellow. And I think that's it. Oh, I'm not sure, but... Just for convenience, I'll buy like a bulk box. It comes with like 75 pieces. I'll leave all that information down below if you're interested in that. And Model Magic also comes like this. If you go to Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, you usually see it like this. Um, they do. They have this in like every color you can think of. Blue, purple, brown, yellow, every color you can think of. And white comes like this too. And it's about $4.99 for a bag like this in any of those stores. So that's why I like buying like this. Like, especially if I find it on sale and I get the two-pound bag. But now, the thing about it, right? Say I wanted to get this green color. Or red or black. No matter how much paint I add to this white. Let me take it out. No matter how much paint, sorry for all the crinkling, no matter how, how much paint I add to this white color, it's never going to get this dark green. Like, adding color to this is like if you want a, like more of a pastel color or, you know, something light. But if you want like a deep red or a deep black, you're just better off buying it like this. Just get you a pack of black, a pack of red. Or whatever but it's very hard to get those dark highly pigmented colors like red and black you will never make it on your own do you want to make a light pink you want to make a light blue or any like a pastel color or it'll get a little darker than that but it will never get like like a black or red no matter how much you um how much color you add to it. If anything, it'll become sticky and yucky and you might not want to use that. So again, this is my favorite, Model Magic. When you first take it out the pack, it's a little tough. It does need to be conditioned. You need to, you know, twist it around. You know, you need to condition it. And when it becomes stretchy, like, I mean, you could stretch it more than this. This is when it's good to do what you're going to do. Roll it out, make cookies, um, whatever you want. Now, you can add it to a mold. I have a couple of molds here. Right? So let's try this. Let, let's, let's compare. This is Model Light. Let's see what happens if when I put... Model Magic in here. If how easy is it going to come out easily or what? It might not. 
and it might. Let's see. Nope. You see that? It loses its shape. Right? It will lose its shape. So, what you're going to do with any of these, except for this. Let's take this out of the equation for now. You can put it in here. Okay, first, before I do that, before, let's talk about... Let's talk about molds for a second. You see this mold? I got this mold from from Walmart. But this mold is is plastic, but it's kind of a little bit more like it's rigid, a bit more rigid like than let's say this. You see how I could just push this through. This is a soft silicone and you could just like push it through. There's I can't push this through. Like, I could try, but it won't go all the way through. It's a bit more rigid, right? So, there's, like, two different kinds of molds. A soft silicone mold and a rigid one. This one is soft. This one is a soft mold. And if you try to push the clay out, it's going to get deformed. And this one will be hard to take the clay out because you can't push it out or anything. So, you can't, like, stick your finger in there. You, it'll just get deformed. So what you do, right, to get, just stuff it, put whatever, whichever type you want, any one of these, Model Magic, any one, I'm going to go through each one, and you put it in your mold. Make sure you compact it nice and up, nicely, you know, so it could get all the details of each little piece. And what you're going to do, you're going to take this, and you're going to put it in your freezer, this mold or this mold, whichever mold you want to use, you will put it in your freezer, okay? And put it in there for, I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. If you want to do it overnight, that's up to you. I have some in the freezer already, and I'm going to take out in a few minutes of a soft silicone mold and a bit more rigid, rigid mold. But in the meantime, while that's setting in the freezer, I'm going to talk to you about these clays. So let's talk about... Let's talk about this one for a minute. Hold on. This is Crayola Air Dry Clay. Now, this is not foam clay. It's like, uh, I don't know if any of you guys ever did ceramic or pottery. It's more like that kind of clay, but it air dries. This is not my favorite, but it still has its use if you want to use this. If you bought some and you don't know what to do with it, you're like, oh my God, I didn't get the right clay. You can still use it and I'm going to show you how, right? Let me get my piece of, um, you know, I got to get my, um, well, I can't, oh my God, I get brain freeze. I tell you, it is no joke. Um, parchment paper. Oh Lord. Let me get my roller. So, now this, now this clay is heavy, it's thick, it's chalky-like, and when I first started making fake bakes, yes, I bought it just like everybody else does. If you don't know better, you will buy it, because, you know, you think it's, it's going to be good. I don't love it, but I bought it and I need to use it. And this is what I've used it for to make cookies because it got to go. It got to get used. I'm not going to let it go to waste, but let's look at this. This is very hard and it's heavy. Comparable to... I have a salt dough cookie here. It's comparable to salt dough. It's about the same kind of... I mean, if you don't want to make salt dough, but you want to make cookies, and you have some of this, and you want to use it up, that's what I suggest. Go for it with that. I mean, it rolls out. You got to make sure you, you still got to, you know, condition it a little bit. And you're going to roll it out. If you watch my salt dough cookie recipe, you see I have a method of using two painter stick that I do not have with me right now. 
to get even cookies, right? So you just take your cookie cutter and you cut it and you take off the excess around it before lifting up your cookie because this stuff is kind of funny too. So, okay, so there you go. Take that off the edge and you're just going to really softly push your cookie out. You don't want to leave too many fingerprints on your cookie. Or you could dust it with um like um uh, baby powder, cornstarch, whatever. Like dust it like how you make a real cookie. You dust it and then you take it and you put it around and then cut your cookie, right? I don't recommend this for making molds. It's very hard to get in there and again if you put it in there, it's going to take forever to dry because this is air dry clay. It needs air to dry. So I made some. I made these yesterday. And they're pretty dry today. You know, I made thin ones. You can make them thicker than this. This is just a, uh, an example of I wanted to show you the clay, right? So this is not my favorite. But, like I said, it has its use. You can make cookies with it if you want, okay? Use it up. Don't let it go to waste. Like, if you wanted to use it. it and another thing, it cracks. Oops. If you, Like, let's say you're trying to roll out to make a pie crust or something. This is not my favorite. It will crack. It. it I made... I wish I would have saved them, but I threw them away. I made some donuts when I first started fake baking. Honey, them things have so many cracks in it. I really just suggest, if you have this and you was like, oh my God, why did I buy it? It's the worst. Listen, use it to make cookies. That's the best thing I find to do with this mold. I mean, with this clay. Unless you want to make, like, you know, uh, figures, like a rabbit or something, and you're going to mold it real good, and you're going to then... That'll be good for that. But other than that, mm -mm. I don't I don't find it to be a good clay. So I would not get that. The next clay that I've used is Model Light. I used to get Model Light from AC Mall before AC Mall went out of business. And it used to come in a bag like this. And it kind of had the same... It was a red and like the same kind of design on the bag. It came in a big bag like this with a zipper. And I used to buy it like that. But after um AC Mall closed, like I don't know if the formula changed or what. But it's like no longer my favorite. It's too soft. Like, do I still use it? Yes. You know, you can still use it. I do not recommend this for newbies. I do not recommend this clay for people that are just starting to do fake bakes because it's too soft. And it gets frustrating after a while when you find out you can't make molds. You can't do certain things with it because it's so soft. Look at this. This is like, like creamy, like whipped cream. Like I can't explain it. But it's too soft for me. Okay. Now if you leave this out. It's kind of wet on the bottom. If you take it out. It's wet. Like. I mean I like that it's soft. I really do. But it's. I mean you can make cookies with it. Like you, like how I, I did these. But I made these with um Model Magic. Because. Like, I don't find that. Let's try to cut one out with a cookie cutter. I just hate that it's so soft. So just roll your cookie dough out. I mean, your, your, um, your clay. Right? Okay. See, it didn't stick this time because it's clean. So let's say you want to make another, uh, 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 no, let's not use this because I have some of that other clay on there. But 
make a shamrock. If you want, like I said, you could put um, baby powder or whatever. Always, when you make a cookie, you got to take your dough away from the cookie. Because once you lift this up, see, it, it, it will stick to it. I don't know about this. I, I, I'm, I'm not crazy about this. Like, to make cookies and stuff. I mean, you can <clears throat> add a little bit of... um. Corn or cornstarch. Um, baby powder to it if you want. But it's just like it's just not like my favorite. Let's try it again. See look. This is this has got that dough from the other. Hold on, let me get my other roller real quick. Cause it has um residue from the other. So it ain't trying to like, it's like, listen here, don't be mixing with clays. Let's put this over here. And this cookie cutter, I don't know, it's been sticking to it. Let's see. Take the clay away from, go around it. Take it, don't lift up the cookie yet until you remove all of this. Because it will stick to your cookie. And then you push. See, I just don't like it. Let's move on. I'm, I'm wasting too much time on here. If you want to get this, or it's the only thing you can find, go for it. Not my favorite. Now, this is... Air dry clay from Hobby Lobby. If you think this is soft, wait till you see this. This is used for cosplay, like to make um costumes and stuff like that. Now you think that model light is soft? Look at this, my people. Look at this. Look, look. This is softer than I like. But like I said, it has its uses. It's not, I don't, I, I, I'm not a fan of it either. I bought one just to try it. But for people that make costumes and stuff, this is perfect because it holds its shape and you can make, do things to it. Like when you, if you was making a costume or if you making... I don't know, like, uh, whatever. I basically no. It's a no for me. If you want to get it and try it, good luck. I will eventually use this for something, but it's not my favorite, okay? Not, nope, not, oh, look, I just want to put it away. I don't even want to. <laughs> and it comes packaged like this. It comes double packaged. Make sure that it stays, it stays, um, soft. Now, what you can do is you can go online and you can search Hobby Lobby air dry clay and see what other people are doing with it. You can do that. So that's Hobby Lobby. That's Model Light. And I have tried a, one more brand, which is... It's a small packet, but um, Michael's, they have an air dry clay, but they don't have it all the time. They usually have it for, like, occasions. Like, Halloween, they'll have some. It'll come in, like, black, orange, and black, orange, and purple. Um, I got this from the Thanksgiving collection they had. Uh... And you know what? I like this clay. They should bring it more up. They should keep it on the shelves. I, I like this clay. Better than all the ones I just showed you. I really do like it. So, I opened this one already. This came with, like, with a little Thanksgiving packet. 
And and during Halloween, they sell packets like this, big packets like this. But it's called Creatology. Michael, uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> Michael's Craft Store. Um, it's called Creatology, and I like this this clay. It's a little sticky, but it's not as soft and like those clays. I really like this clay. They need to like keep it in stock. Like they need to make a whole collection of it. I really, really, really like this clay. So if you happen to get your hands on some uh, Michael's Creatology air dry clay and you see it's on sale or you see it's on clearance, I suggest you get it. I like it. It's one of my favorites. And they really need to um, stock this. Like, they need to make it a permanent thing in their stores. They really do. I really like this clay. A lot. Like, whenever I see it, I'm about... I did order me some. I got a whole bunch of um, orange... And uh, when it came out during Halloween, they had it for $1.99 a bag, which is a great deal. I bought me like, I don't know if it was two or three packs of each. I really like it. So if you see it, get it. I don't have a bag with me. I, I do have a bag somewhere, but I um don't know where it's at right now. Because I did fix my craft closet and I put it away somewhere. But So anyway, so I did like a little sampling here. This is, now I did these today. This is the Michaels brand air dry clay. And it's almost dry. Like I did it today. It's almost dry. It's good. I like it. And um, they need to make a line. They need to make it a permanent fixture. Now this is, <clears throat> I kind of labeled each one. This is my Model Magic, my favorite. And this one is almost dried as well. Like, it's almost dry. You could touch it. You could do, you know, you could. It's not going to change its shape at this point because it's been out drying. This is Model Light. It's still a bit squishy. But, I mean, it's also, you could also touch it. and But it looks like it could still, like, lose its shape a little bit if you keep messing with it too much. So you know and this is hobby lobby it's dry as well but it's still a little squishy too and i feel like it could possibly lose its shape you know but and then this is um the air dry clay um crayola air dry clay which i suggest you use for cookie cutters right so one thing about all of these air dry clays that they do there's a possibility for shrinkage like they will shrink a little when they start drying they constrict and they like you know they they shrink a little bit sometimes you know i could show you right here like on this cupcake you can see that it, it like shrank a little bit. Not a lot. This is Model Magic. It didn't shrink a lot, but it did shrink. You know, and then some people ask me, does a Model Magic ever get hard? It'll take a while, but it will get hard. These cookies are hard. These were made with Model Magic. They are hard. I mean, I'm talking about not brick hard, but... It takes a while. The longer you leave them out and the longer you leave them, you know, to uh, air dry, the better it's going to get. The better the quality, I mean, the better, um, the harder, why well, I keep saying better, the harder they are going to dry, okay? So, there was something else I wanted to say about Model Magic. Okay, so when you have a little bit of Model Magic left over and you don't know what to do with it, this is what I do. I'll take it. I'll make a macaroon out of it. And I, these macaroons are hard. Look. I made these a while ago. And you just keep them in your stash for whenever you need it. I made this little 
cone with extra. I had some of this left over and I had a little piece of this. I made a little cone. That's all I did. It's hard. You see it? You hear how hard it is? This is model magic. Model magic. Just if you have some left over, do something with it. Don't if you don't know what you be like, what am I gonna do with this little piece? Make something. Look at this. In here, all my leftover clay. All my leftover clay. I made a flower. I did something. I made a cracker. I made some graham crackers when I had some leftover. I just make something. You can make you have a little piece of foam left over. Make you a marshmallow. Now look. Right? I made this a while ago. The marshmallow is hard. The harder you leave it out, the harder it just sits. I mean the longer it sits, the harder it's gonna get. I have a whole collection of marshmallows here that I made. Every time I have a little piece of marshmallow, I mean a little piece of clay left. I make me a marshmallow and I add it to my collection. That's all you do. Don't just be like, what I'm going to do with this little piece is a waste. Blah, 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 blah. No, make something. Save it. Get you one of these and just keep adding pieces to it. Whenever you need a marshmallow to make a hot cocoa or whatever, it's ready to go. Just save it. Okay, now I'm going to get the ones I had in the freezer so you can see what I'm talking about. If it don't come out your mold and um, what to do with it. So let's try this one. This is the rigid mold. Look. Look at that. You see that? It just popped out. Now I got me a cute little, I don't know what is this supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a B. Right? This is the rigid one. Just put it in the freezer. Fill it up. Make sure you get the, you know, push the clay down real good into those grooves and look at these look they just popped out now you got your cute little whoop, cute little um accent pieces you can add to your cake to your sundae to whatever so just put them in the freezer leave them in there for a while and they're gonna just pop right out okay so, I think I basically covered the clays and how to get them out of the mold if you're having trouble. And like I said, if you're a newbie, I do not suggest that you get these air dry, I mean these soft, soft clays. Maybe later on, after you've figured out how to do certain things, you might want to check those out. But they are not my favorite. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's not my favorite. I'm going to tell you everything I've used. This is made with Model Magic. I made these with Model Magic. I made this with Model Magic. Okay. I made these with Model Magic. Model Magic. These are hard. Look. If you leave them around out, they will dry. They will firm up. They're not going to lose their shape. They're hard. Look. They get hard. So it's not like they never gonna get hard. It's just take it over time they get hard. I made these with model magic. I personally model magic is my favorite. A lot of people don't like model magic. They says it cracks on them, and I haven't had that problem with model magic. I don't have any cracks in my cookie. There are no cracks. I just made those. These are older. There are no cracks in my model magic. None at all. Because the trick is you have to condition it very well before you do what you have to do. Because it comes, it's very, um, it's like basically almost drying out. Even though it's not dry, it just needs to be conditioned. Model magic is my favorite air dry clay. They sell some on Amazon. I never really tried any of the Amazon clays. Some people have. I never really tried. I did try uh air dry clay from like one of my discount stores and it was called Fluffy. Um 
I like that clay, but you don't find it everywhere. It was just, you know, I just happened to find it at that time, but it's not available everywhere. But if you ever see an air dry clay called Fluffy, get it. I really like it. And I, I bought it like a bag was a dollar, which is awesome. It was, it was in a big bag. I'll say it was like maybe half size of this, like this size bag. But still, for a dollar, whew, I wish I could find that. I even went online looking to see where could I buy fluffy air dry clay, but you can't. It's just like a discount store brand, but you just don't find it everywhere. So anyway, guys, I think I covered everything. So like again, my light is my favorite. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I find it to be very soft. This one comes in black too. They have it in white and black. Model light, I've only seen it in white. When AC Mall was open, they used to have it in different colors, but now they only sell it in white, and it's way too soft for me. It's not the formula I used to use. Crayola air dry clay is not good for real, like making macaroons and stuff like that. Unless you want to, that's up to you. But if you have some of this, I suggest you make cookies out of it. It's perfect for cookies and all of that. And then this is Michael's brand, Air Dry Clay by Creatology. I love it, but they do not sell, like, they do not have, like, a whole selection. It only comes, like, in little kits and stuff like that. But, and uh, usually around holidays and stuff like that. If you see it, buy it. I recommend it. Is awesome. I love, I really like it. They need to just make a whole line. All right, guys. I think I covered everything. I might have forgot something, or if somebody has any more, um, you know, like feedback on air dry clays, I would like to hear about it. Um, or if you have any questions, just leave it down at the comments, and I will answer as soon as I can. So until the next guy, until the next time, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep, keep, I can't even talk, keep crafting. And I really hope that this, you know, helped you out a little bit. All right? God bless you guys. Bye.